So we have, still have about another hour to go until we reach Ngomashi. The going is pretty tough. It's uh, very narrow trails through forest, very slippery. It's rained a bit since we've been on the road and there's a thunderstorm rolling in just now. I think the area is covered by about three different rebel groups. It's causing a lot of problems for the civilians here. People are scared to take these paths. We have 50 porters carrying vaccination kits, cool boxes. Uh, the teams are split into groups of six people and more locals will be employed in each of the villages in which the vaccination takes place. So we've arrived in Hungumashi. People here seem very happy to see us. It's a very warm welcome to everyone. And then we still have several more days to go to reach all of these remote places where this vaccination will take place. From what I understand, will basically equate to a no man's land. Uh, walking through a village earlier that was completely abandoned is testament to what effect these arms groups have had on the civilian population in the area and how difficult it is for them to access any kind of health care or markets or anything really to provide sustenance to these isolated communities. So it's about 20 past 6 in the morning on the second day now. We have a, a walk this morning to get to Kisi, which is the first place where we'll be vaccinating. It's absolutely beautiful here. The end of our first day, uh, I think overall vaccinated 547 people, children and pregnant women. And as soon as we got here, everybody was straight into setting up the vaccination center, which was the first time they'd done this in this kind of context. There was a huge crowd of people here waiting to be vaccinated. Dr. Adolf is now calling back to the base in Masisi trying to arrange the extra logistics that will be required to keep all these live vaccines cool. Six o'clock in the morning. Um, today we have another day of walking to reach Kalungu. Thunderstorm in Kalungu on day three. Turnout wasn't huge today, again a problem of spreading the message and also the fact that there is conflict between two of the villages which means that residents of one village cannot come to the other. We've just arrived in Kotobo 2. Um, the plan for today was to come here, vaccinate there a second batch of people and then get to Ngomashi but there's now a question of how fast the team can set up and get through all these children. There's also problems with barriers on the roads set up by the rebels. Our passage will be free, but not necessarily the passage of the porters on the way back. So negotiations with the leaders of the armed groups had to take place there as well to ensure the safe passage of civilians on their way back to the villages.